27 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x equals 27. Find x. Hi there, this is Daily Mathematics and today we want to solve this nice question, straightforward question, an easy question, but it has multiple ways of solving it. And in the course of this video, I'm going to be working out two methods of solving this. So solution, solution, let's start with method one. The first method, right? So the first method, we know 27 is 3 raised to the power of 3. So we can bring it out 3 raised to the power of 3, right? Raised to the power of x plus 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x plus 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x equals 27, right? So the next thing, you remember our law which says a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n, right, equals a raised to the power of n raised to the power of m. We can switch the powers, right? So we're going to do that here. So what we have is 3 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3, right, plus 3 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 3 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3 equals 27, right? Good. So the next thing now, we have 3 raised to the power of x, 3 raised to the power of x, and 3 raised to the power of x. We can say, let a equals 3 raised to the power of x, right? Can you see a equals 3 raised to the power of x? So from here, we can bring out a raised to the power of 3 plus a raised to the power of 3 plus a raised to the power of 3 equals 27 that is it's a raised to the power of 3 plus a raised to the power of 3 plus a raised to the power of 3 equals 27 so from here we can add a plus a plus a that's what 3 a raised to the power of 3 equals 27 we add this as if there's an invisible one here one year and one year so we add this three it gives us 3 a raised to the power of 3 equals 27 so from here we divide both sides by 3 to by the question of the letter, right? So we cancel a raised to the power of 3 equals 9, right? a raised to the power of 3 equals 9. So how do we get a? a becomes, uh, from here we can cube root both sides, cube root, cube root, cube cancel cube root, a equals cube root of 9. A equals cube root of 9. So the next thing here, since A equals cube root of 9, of 9, so from here, from that equation, where we have 3 raised to the power of X raised to the power of 3 plus 3 raised to the power of X raised to the power of 3 plus 3 raised to the power of X raised to the power of 3 equals 27. We have seen that 3 raised to the power of X equals A and A has become uh, 3 cube root of 9, right? That means 3 raised to the power of x equals a. a is 3 raised to the, 3, uh, cube root of 9. Cube root of 9. So this is a cube root of 9. So for me, we have 3 raised to the power of x equals cube root of 9 is still the same as what? 9 raised to the power of 1 over 3. That's for this one. You know, when we have q uh, square root of a, it becomes a raised to the power of 1 over 2 right so that's what we're doing here still so it becomes this so from here 3 raised to the power of x equals 9 is 3 raised to the power of 2 right multiplied by 1 over 3 right 3 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 because when we have a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal a raised to the power of m n right for this so that's that. So from here, we have 3 raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of 2 times 1 is 2 over 3, right? So from here, we can see. So when we have 2, uh, the bases are the same, the numbers are the same, we can cancel the numbers. So from here, we can see x equals 2 over 3, right? So this is the first method for it. And if you want to try it, if you want to uh, check it out, we're going to check it out after we do the second method, right? Method 2. So, we have 27 raised to the power of x. We write the question. 27 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x equals 27. Right? 
that's the first question that's the second method that i want to uh, carry out so now 27 is common in both sides of this first equation here of this part of the equation so we can bring out 27 raised to the power of x since 27 raised to the power of x is common right and what do we have so we bring it out from here we have one we bring it out from here to have one and when we bring it out from here we have one two equals 27 right yes we have 27 so from here 27x multiplied by 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 3 equals 27x right equals 27x and so from here we now have you know 27 is 3 raised to the power of 3 so we have 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by 3 equals 27 raised to the power of x right now 20 uh 3 raised to the power of 3 this is the same thing as what 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x, it is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 3x, right? So I say when we have a raised to the power of m, raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of mn because we multiply the powers together. Now multiply by 3 raised to the power of 1 because 3 raised to the power of 1 is still the same thing as 3 equals 27 raised to the power, sorry, equals 27. There's no x, there's no x, equals 27. So 27 is 3 raised to the power of 3. Now we can bring this when we have here yeah, a. We have a raised to the power of um, m multiplied by a raised to the power of n. It becomes a, we take the one a raised to the power of m plus n. So we take with 3, it becomes 3 raised to the power of 3x plus 1 equals 3 raised to the power of 3 because this is 3, right? So from here we have both uh, numbers here, we cancel, right? 3x plus 1 equals 3, right? 3x becomes 3 minus 1, it becomes 2. That will start by 3x equals 2 over 3, right? So x equals 2 over 3, and you can see the answers we got here is the same with the answer we got here. The answers are the same, right? So how do we verify this? So from here, how do we ver verify this? So our question was 27 raised to the power of 3, 27 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x. And we see that it's equals what? 27, right? Right? So the x we found was 2 raised to 2 over 3. So that was 27 raised to the power of 2 over 3 plus 27 raised to the power of 2 over 3 plus 27 raised to the power of 2 over 3. Now let's see this. Uh, 3 so when we have something like this we do the cube root of 27 squared cube root cube root of 27 squared plus cube root of 27 squared right so from here cube root of 27 is 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared 3 squared is 9 plus 9 right plus 9 9 plus 9 plus 9 equals 27, right? So that brings us to the end of this class. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, please leave your comments about this video. Thank you very much.